All right, good afternoon. Thanks for being here. Looking back to Saturday, I was really pleased with our team. You know, coming into the game, we felt Northern Arizona was really a physical team. They had showed that in game one. And, you know, our guys came out and played really physical football in that first half. I thought we ran the football effectively and, you know, we were able to stop their run in the first half and get some field position and score some points, you know, with limited possessions. We go in up 13 to three and, you know, at halftime and felt that we were in a good spot, but needed to come out and really set a tone in the second half. And, you know, we didn't get off to the start we wanted offensively with a three and out, but got the ball back on defense. We had three really good possessions in a row on defense and were able to widen the lead and then go up four scores in the fourth quarter. And, you know, at that point, we were going to get some other guys in the game and, and get some experience for some guys. And we'd like to play better and finish the game stronger because when the clock's running, you always want to improve your football team. And I think it'll still help us that we get guys experience. But uh, obviously, it changed the mood during the fourth quarter. And, you know, we need to learn from it and keep learning. And, Special teams, I think we made a, an improvement in that area on Saturday. So good strides to move forward against uh, an opponent, you know, our former Big Sky foe that we had a lot of close games with in the past. And now we look forward because we get to go to Boise State, team that won all their conference games in the regular season a year ago, won a bowl game. And... You know, it's a program with a lot of tradition, picked to win the Mountain West this year. So uh, looking forward to it. They have some really good standout players. I think their quarterback, you know, 6'6", 220 pounds, Taylor Green, really athletic with a strong arm. Uh, tailback is Ashton Genty. When he touches the ball, he's very explosive and uh, something good happens for their team. So going to have to be able to contain him and do a good job with him and keeping the quarterback in the pocket. Defensively, their leading tackler. I'm really impressed with him at safety. It's Alexander Tubner, and, you know, very active, and their defense is really active. They run well, and this will be a challenge for us. And, and their specialists have talent. You know, their kicker made a 56-yarder, and um, so that means – they get in your end, they're a threat to score points. So looking forward to it and be our first trip for our guys and be something new for a lot of guys on our team. But for our 2023 team, this is our first trip. So it's something new. Well, Coach, um, <clears throat> kicking off at 10 Mountain, um, what, as a coach, what what does that concern you with, or, or does it concern you? Uh, and what do you have to – is it just moving the schedule right up, or how do you counteract that? Yeah, we keep our pregame schedule. Our pregame meal is going to be same time in relation to the kickoff. And we're a morning practice team. It's 11 o'clock our time, which we should be able to handle it. We discussed it with our team yesterday already, and we just got to be able to handle it because we want to stay into our pregame routine. And do you, you know, when, when this game was scheduled, did you feel like this would be a, a good chance to give guys a, a life experience type situation here playing on the blue turf? Uh, maybe you see it on TV all the time, but, but actually going out there and having an opportunity to, to play there, was that, was that part of the scheduling or what do you think? Well, a lot of things go into scheduling, who's available and who's willing to schedule and do the open dates match. So we think it's great to go to a team with a lot of tradition in the Mountain West and, you know, everybody remembers some of their big wins in the postseason and big wins during the year. So really looking forward to it. And from what we understand, I've never been there, but it's a great home atmosphere. And, and those are good for your team to prepare you for the rest of the year. And for this experience, uh, it'll be great for us. What can you maybe credit to from your past FBS FBS experiences to prep you to, to play Boise well? Well, I think, you know, you prepare like any other opponent. That's what we're preaching to our team, you know, do a great job of preparing. And it's a road game, which 
those change things a little bit. You got to prepare for noise. We were in front of 86,000 last year. That should help. But once again, this team is different. And some new guys that weren't on that trip last year when we were on the road against an FBS opponent, you know, two years ago we were at Utah State, which was a crowd of about 25,000, but it was a really good home atmosphere. So those things you want to draw from them, but every situation is going to be different. We got to focus on our preparation. And then when we get out there, focus on what we can control and that's how you approach it. I know you gave some credit to some Boise State players, but what are keys for your team specifically to beat them? You know, every week we want to take care of the ball. So you got to secure the ball. And you know, what I failed to mention in the opening statement, we had three negative plays on offense last week. We had a um, sack and then we had two five yard penalties. So that really helped us be efficient offensively. We did have the ball on the ground, which we don't want, and, but we got all of them back. So, you know, we need to do a good job of taking care of the ball. And then you need to eliminate explosive plays, which early in the game, we did a good job of that, led to a fourth down stop and for, or a, a forced field goal, I'm sorry. And then late in the game, we didn't do as good a job of that. So those are always a couple of the keys. And especially against a talented team, you got to make them earn their points. And then you got to stay on the field offensively. And tying off that too, just the amount of experience. I mean, obviously guys like Tommy and Bo, they played last year at Nebraska. A lot of defensive guys are seniors as well. Just maybe does that help calm maybe the nerves compared to other teams that would be, you know, FCS versus FBS? Well, I think experience always helps you. If you've been in those environments before, you can draw from that previous experience. So the leaders of your team have to help our guys and steady us and that, you know, met with the leadership council, met with our captains, and, and they know what we need to do to go and play well on the road. And then you got to get into that preparation again and, and trust your preparation. That's going to be really key. Um, they're an incredibly proud program and, and certainly have designs on big things this year. They haven't gotten off to maybe the start they anticipated or would like. Uh, you, you must anticipate that they're going to be uh, an attentive opponent uh, going into this one. Yeah, they're a very good team, and they played two good opponents. You know, you play Washington, who's a top 10 team. And, you know, the Washington team has first-round draft picks running around out there, so that was a, you know, a, a tough environment from the, for them, I'm sure. And then their home opener is against Central Florida, who has a lot of talent, too. So uh, they played two very tough opponents and had a chance to win the game. You know, they got beat at the horn on a field goal. So this is a very good football team, and we know that going into it. I would imagine they'll be hungry for a win, and they're a proud team, so they'll play hard like they always do, like we see on tape, and we just got to be able to handle that intensity and match that and really, you know, really focus on our execution and not get caught up in the environment and control what we can control. Uh, what were your impressions of Wesley Saturday, getting into the mix, uh, scoring in the Alara Center for, for North Dakota? Um, what, what, have you, what have you seen from the way that he's starting to emerge for the offense? Well, that's why he's here, you know, to help us and be a, a factor and affect the game. So I thought he did a really good job of that, you know, in different ways, tunnel screen, got behind the defense on another play and, and got into the end zone. But, you know, one thing that we shared with the team yesterday was he had a really good day blocking. And there was one play in particular that was really impressive. And, you know, we want receivers to buy into that mentality here that you just aren't here to catch balls. And that's what we're most proud of him about being patient and waiting his opportunities to catch those balls and doing the other things that we expect our guys to do too.